Brenda Barrett, Agent Derek Bates. I do for Interpol. I'm here regarding the attack on you backstage at the award ceremony. Oh, I've already told the police everything I know about that. Spirit, I'm afraid the situation is a bit more dire than you realize. We have reason to believe that you've become the target of a very dangerous individual. so quick and at night the federal prosecutor is stacking the deck in her favor a speedy arraignment gives us less time to prepare and does not allow for any new developments like john zakara waking up to corroborate your story johnny would lie anyway so it doesn't as to the lateness of the hour it got her a judge with a reputation for favoring the prosecution this guy can't be any worse than judge carroll this guy is the Honorable Alicia Hamad. Don't even think about using the dimples. I have absolutely no confidence anymore in your your ability to charm the opposite sex in or out of the court. Are you sick, Diane? Are you seriously telling me they're going to deny me bail? The feds know you want to run. Why would they give you the opportunity? Robin, Lisa has already accused me of being biased, which I am. So any action I take has to be supported by the evidence. I know, I know Lisa hurt you. And she's threatened my family. Unfortunately, what's on record are the threats you made in public. You hit Lisa Niles with your car. Uh, she stepped out in front of me. I have no doubt that what you're telling me is the truth. But there are no facts or witnesses to back you up. Uh, Couple that with the vandalism of the locker, I mean, it doesn't uh, look Max, good She broke into our house. Twice. She, she stole Robin's HIV medication. She kidnapped our daughter. And you have no proof of any of that. Robin, you never bothered to notify me. As a cop or his family. Lisa has been very careful to document all the crimes committed against her. I know, so she could set me up. She's trying to act like I'm the one who's crazy because I'm jealous that she slept with my husband. You need to let me protect you. How? You hit Lisa with your car? I'm gonna write that off as an accident. But it wasn't. You lied to What are you doing here? I told you I believe you. I want to see this through. If you're planning another soliloquy on justice or you're going to race down the aisle with an earth-shattering revelation, I would appreciate a heads up. I will be on my best behavior. Scott's on. All rise. The Honorable Judge Alicia Ahmed presiding. I'll hear the matter of the People versus Michael Corinthos Jr., the charge is attempted murder. How does the defendant plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. The defendant's plea of not guilty is so entered. I have a petition for bail. Ms. Miller? Your Honor, the defendant is a businessman and father with both professional and personal ties to the community. He is eager to answer these charges and clear his good name. Ms. Walsh? Sonny Corinthos is a major player in organized crime. Alleged. You've had your turn, Ms. Miller. The people will prove Mr. Corinthos walked up to an unarmed man in a public street and shot him with malice aforethought. That is arrogance and lawlessness of the most flagrant kind. Mr. Corinthos regards the law as a minor inconvenience. He'll break it at will, and he will not hesitate to flee this court's jurisdiction. His substantial illegally gained assets and the damning evidence in this case against him makes his flight not a risk, but a certainty. 
We respectfully request the court deny bail and remand the defendant to Pentonville for the duration of his trial. Your Honor, with all due respect, Ms. Walsh's tirade has nothing to do with jurisprudence. It is entirely personal. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Ms. Barrett, I understand there have been death threats, even attempts on your life prior to this incident? Yes, well, the people who exploit children don't like the publicity that ASEC generates, so yes. A major exporter of precious stones declared bankruptcy after you brought to light their selling of conflict diamonds. Good, they deserve worse. You understand your effect, but you underestimate the backlash. Some very well-funded but ruthless people want to silence you. I... I'm not scared. You should be scared, Miss Barrett. You're the reason some very dangerous people are losing a great deal of money. I'm afraid this latest incident was not just the work of some random psychopath. Have you ever heard of a crime figure known as the Balkan? Thanks for visiting me. Ow. <laughs> well, I have to be honest with you, I was thinking twice about it. I thought we were friends. Well, the lines are being drawn in this thing between you and Patrick and Robin. Oh, well, not Patrick. I mean, he's stuck in the middle. Robin is the one who's unspooling. Robin is my sister-in-law. Okay. I, I understand your loyalties, and I respect them. I, I, I totally admit to taking a play at Patrick, and, you know, we both just gave in to our histories and our mutual attraction. <sighs> really? Yeah, that's funny, because uh, you don't sound very sorry. About sleeping with Patrick? Well, I'm not. You know, I mean, he's pretty conflicted over it, too. What I am sorry about is how it happened and that Robin got hurt. Okay, why did you want to see me? What, what is this about? Well, I'm worried about how Patrick's dealing with Robin. I mean, she's completely flipped out. You don't honestly believe that Robin intentionally tried to run you down, do you? Okay, I was standing in plain sight on a well-lit street, and she saw me, right? She aimed her car at me on purpose. No. <laughs> you, you, are you, you cannot be serious. Okay. All right, then what is more likely, that she ran me down or that I threw myself in front of a moving vehicle to make Robin look bad? Okay, we're, you know, we're talking about history, you know, Patrick and mine, but what about Robin's? What? Really? Really, you're gonna go there. You're gonna talk about Robin's postpartum depression. What if her irrational behavior goes beyond just anger and jealousy? Right, what if it's a psychiatric one? Yeah, I'm convinced that she's very quickly becoming a threat to herself and to others. No, I, I will not let this go on record as an accident. Lisa deliberately threw herself in front of my car. I mean, honestly, how many pedestrians do you know that get hit by a car and walk away with barely a scratch? It's rare, but it does happen. Lisa must have saw me slowing down to pick up Patrick, and she just stepped right in front of the car. You do realize how crazy that sounds. Of course it sounds crazy, because the person we're dealing with is crazy. Okay. okay, look, you don't have to work to convince me. I'm on your side here. But you said you wanted the problems in your marriage to stay private. If you drag this out, Lisa is going to hang your dirty laundry out for everyone to see. No, I cannot let her get away with this. If I keep this case open, it could be a legal nightmare for you. So you want me to lie? I just want you to let me make this go away. I can't let that bitch so easily off the hook. I can't do it. Okay, okay, I will. I'll keep the investigation open against my better judgment and hope that it validates your story. Nurse Spencer, to ICU. Nurse Bobby Spencer, to ICU. I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. Right now, I just hate you, and I hate everything that's happening. The Balkan. <laughs>